Hello everyone. Um, today uh, I'll be taking you on the continuation of uh, where we ended on our last video demonstration with the odd gate. So today we'll be doing an AND gate with a two input. Okay. So in this example, I'm using um, a 481. You can see it here. All right. This is the pin configuration. So we have it's also a quad core. It's a quad core two input. Uh, and gate as you can see have uh, four of them one two three four okay so in this example I'm using the, the first uh, the, the pin one two and three you can use any of them guys so feel free to use any of them play around it's almost the same it gives you the same results okay but in this example particularly I'm using the pin one two and three that's a1 b1 and q1 so I got this from Texas Instrument. Okay, it's online. You can always get it online. And um, so that's the pin configuration. We need to get um, the truth table from this. Okay. So here is an example of how your circuit would look like. So this is just like one uh, pin one, pin two, and pin three. For instance, pin one, pin two, pin three. So this is how your circuit will look like. Remember, you are not um, you are allowed to explore. You can make uh, alternatives. There are many ways of doing this. That's to be precise. So feel free. This is just one of the ways um, to do it, and you can go extra miles. Okay. So in this example, uh, I'm using A1 as my input, B1 as my input. That's A1 is pin one, B1 is pin two. And Q1 spin 3. Then I'm connecting, I'm powering up my my pin 1 uh, with a push button. You can use uh, a switch also, it's still fine. Okay, so I'm giving it a 5 volt on that switch or on the push button. Then I also connect my LED. Okay, this is an LED, guys. This is an LED, meaning it lights up, okay? It lights up. Then after my LED, I'm connecting a 100 ohm a resistor, okay? Just for protection, then it takes it to the ground. Then now I'm connecting a pull down resistor, okay? Initially, uh, depending on the value of the resistor that you use, okay? If you don't connect the pull down resistor, it's just, you might have an output without uh, an input. You might have an input. Nothing comes in the input, but uh, you got an output. So to solve that problem, okay, if you connect it without the pull-down resistor. So there is actually a pull-down and a pull-up resistor. So in this case, we're using a pull-down resistor because we don't want to have an output here. That's the reason for the pull-down. So in your description, you should include something like you included the pull-down resistor, okay? So when you include your 10k, it should be the value should be 10. It should be greater than 10k or 10 kilo ohm. Then it will be able to complete the circuit with a switch off the output. So the initial state should be zero. So uh, for the second input, for the second input, it's pretty the same. You you send your switch with a five volt. Then uh, you, you connect your LED. And your resistor in series as is uh, stated in the instructions then you connect it to the ground and then you now take um, your pull down resistor again and um, to the ground remember the value should be greater than 10 kilo amps okay so in this case I'm using uh, like I said I'm using the push button I'm using the push two push buttons so you can decide to use a switch it's up to you okay so remember, I'm using a 4081. You might be given another model, but it should perform the same thing. All right. So let's get into the circuit so that we can be able to complete the truth table. Okay. This is input one, input two, and our output. All right. So this is my circuit. This is my circuit here. It's very much similar to the previous one. Okay. Uh, like I said, uh, all these cables here, this and this, is just to enable the connection between these two parts of the breadboard. Then this other one, this side, 
just short circuit these two parts because there wasn't power in both of these sides although it's a brand new but it's 40 i think i don't know so i had to do that to solve that problem okay so these are my two switch or two switches or two push buttons okay so depending on which one you're using okay initially it's a normally open or open circuit initially because it's diagonally connected this one and this one are short circuit so it's normally closed okay it's so nc then here to here it's no normally open normally close so i'm using the normally open situation or condition which is the diagonal uh, pins then it takes it to um it takes it to my five volt and, and uh, this other one takes it to the five volt all right so if you look critically here i don't know if you can see it um no uh, i'm using bear with me guys i'm using the 4081 okay i don't know it's not showing uh, i think you can see something yeah cd4081 be okay so that's my and gate um so you can see here i have powered up my and gate see here is the vcc like you can see here guys make sure you don't power up your circuit uh in a different pin it must be here pin 14 vdd okay the drainage voltage drainage and the ground pin 7 so if you can see here my pin 7 is connected to the ground i don't know if you can see this is my pin 7 here okay pin 7 is connected to the ground then my pin 14 which is up here with the red cable it's connected way to vcc then i just powered it up you can see here I just I provided power on both rays of the breadboard okay these are my resistors so this is my pull down resistors okay these are my pull down resistors which prevent me getting an output here it actually completes the circuit preventing me from getting an output here without an input okay so uh, you can see my pin one goes to the input of the uh, the first led okay then the led takes it this resistor takes it to the ground okay then my pin 2 okay with this uh, red cable with this the white cable as you can see takes it to this other white led okay and then the resistor takes it to the the ground and then still on pin 1 and 2 we take it to the push button push button like the first one takes it to this push button and the second one takes it to this other push button then now we have our pull down resistor still from pin 1 and pin 2 okay on our pin 3 which is the output it actually takes it with this resistor okay from pin 3 as you can see here this is my pin 3 here right uh, with this okay then takes it to there is a resistor and the resistor takes it to the ground right so that's basically how the circuit operates so now i'm still using the same power supply i used the last time so you can actually use uh, you can even use perhaps okay this is a nine volt by three okay so you can get an equivalent resistor okay which is going to uh, have a voltage drop of maybe four four volts okay so that you can get approximately five volt on the battery if you don't have the power supply there are uh, rps the regulated power supply here so you can use the battery then you use a resistor to get a, a voltage drop across this battery then you power up your circuit all right so um i'm just going to go into a uh, part of the circuit so we can fill up uh, our truth table okay so i will i will be back a little quick uh, let me fill this we have zero we have uh, zero we have one one we have zero one uh, zero one okay 
All right, so this is just what I was trying to write, you can see. So I'm going to power up my, my, uh, my circuit, okay? Right, I'm using Tanit 3, which is a 5 volt. I've explained this in my previous uh, video with the OR gate. So I'm going to enable the output voltage, okay? As you can see, initially, um, my circuit, my push buttons are normally open. Okay, it's an open circuit. So now, so I consider my first uh, condition to be zero because the output, as you can see, nothing, there's no light, uh, it doesn't light up. So it's a zero. So I'm just gonna write a zero here. Okay, on my truth table. Then I'm going to enable uh, my push the second push button then this one must be low okay to do that i'm just gonna press this okay still you see the output still is, is zero okay so we already know the two table for an and gate if you have uh, the zero zero should be zero then uh, both input must be high for you to get a uh, an equivalent output okay so at the output we still have a zero Okay, so the first push button should be high. Okay, then we see what happens. Still no output. Okay, still no output. So we have um, our zero here. Then we have to make uh, both output, both input, I beg your pardon, both input high. So to do that, we're going to um, pull down both uh, push buttons right so i'm just going to give this a high value then we observe what happens okay perfect so we get a, a corresponding output okay so our circuit works as as required okay so you're just trying to prove the operation of of what an AND gate so guys uh get yourself familiarized with this it's very easy um and in case you have uh, questions please feel free to ask okay in case you have questions feel free to ask Mister? Just give